thank you for watching and welcome to the very first edition of coaching with cam and as we get started i'd like to send uh, a huge shout out and a big thank you um, to one of my subscribers casey 10 um, who's representing the uk and uh... thank you for him uh... for sending in uh... footage of a recent game he had in uncharted 2 and with his permission uh, I am providing his gameplay to highlight some of uh, the good plays that he, he made as well as to identify some opportunities because it's easy to go into forums and read oh this is how you can do better this is how you can do better at this but um, with Casey's help um, and the video I'm going to be able to point these out so you can actually see how when presented with certain situations you can uh, give yourself a better chance at succeeding and getting more kills in Uncharted 2 multiplayer. Uh, while there is no 100% right or wrong way to play this game, um, the advice I'm going to provide is based on what has helped me become uh, fairly successful. Um, I'm not the best, but uh, I do average at least 2.5 kill death ratio every every game almost um, I do have some subscribers to back this up who have played with me um, so there's no wrong or right way to play but these general tips hopefully will help you improve and if you're one of those pro guys or girls who doesn't need to improve what the fuck are you doing watching go out there and play and own some ass <laughs> so once again thank you to KC10 um, stick uh, you know stick it stick back stick back I don't know if that's kickback is what I'm looking for. Uh, have a watch and a listen and hopefully this will help you uh, improve uh, with your skills in Uncharted 2 multiplayer online. Let's get started. See how he does. Generally, this is the way I go as well. Of course, I usually pick up the M4. But my first point is how he pays attention. Look in the bottom right, you'll notice someone is coming by, and he does as well. Generally, that's your way to kill. But that's a good way to start. When you're looking, always keep your eye open for the whole camera. Now, he knows he's still in there. So he comes right back, looking for his target, still on camera, going for it. Very good start. Quick two kills. All because he was aware right off the bat. Very well done. So it's three and, one. and surprise attack takes him with him, four and one. Pretty darn good start to the game. And I always say use your camera. Even if you're not moving your camera, be aware of everything that's happening to give you tips and hints on where your targets could be. Incoming. Yeah. Right there, I wouldn't recommend throwing the grenade away to Ray when the when the gun will do. Cause he's a pretty good shot with it so far. Okay. He's knocked down like a good couple people. So save your grenades because you can save those for the last second when nothing else will save you the grenade can now at this point he's not able to find anyone and at this point he's looking out there but sticking in this area I wouldn't recommend that much because someone that he killed generally I usually go right back to where the guy killed me in case they're hanging out good shooting Though he's taking out the targets now, he's getting out of there. He's moving around. Almost, almost. With the AK, that's a tough one to get. But if you're accurate, not a bad shot to take, especially if you're that confident. Now, this part is huge. And right there, you heard something to the bottom right, didn't you? buddy is right there. It's not just seeing, but in this game you want to listen. And that's going to be a big deal, and I'm going to show you why. 
right there, he could be ready for a kickoff. But, by not heeding that, he goes over, yeah, there's people there to take a kill. Good. Get that, ooh, nice headshot. Boom. Look who came back to get him. Now that could have been prevented by going for his target by listening. And if you're not sure where to go, you can't see anyone on your screen, listen. Your ears will tell you where, where to go. And if you have a surround sound system, this will be an extra extra good thing for you. Listening. That will tell you where to go. Because you do not want to stay stationary for too long. Camping in this game will eventually get you killed. Yeah, it's not worth it. And this actually segues way, uh, sig ways fairly nicely. The next point I'm going to be making fairly soon. I promise. He's currently looking around. He noticed in the top left hand corner sniper was up on the roof. Now he decided to go around to the side. Now that's all right. Okay, taking cover. Good call. But now no one's really there. His buddy's there. So he gets out of the way. Well done. Now this is good. His camera is already down. Already down waiting to see if someone was there. If someone was there, he would have been ready to let let go with the shotgun. Whereas if he was looking straight, he could have landed not being ready and gotten, you know, nicely raped. Which is not a good thing. Tough though, there's not many too easy targets for him right now. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Now this part. Why wait? Why wait? You do not want to wait. If he's there, you got a shotgun, kill. Go for that kill. Don't hesitate. That guy was lagging a little bit there. But don't even take cover at that point. Especially if you have a shotgun. If you have a shot, especially that's close like that, take it. The only time I wouldn't take that shot is if, you know, the target is far away or they have a chance to really get it done. You know, they pulled that out nicely with the handgun since the shot he wasn't doing too well. But if you have a shot, take it. Especially if you think you can beat them one-on-one, -on -one, be confident. Go out and take it. Don't let them dictate. You tell them how and when they're going to die. Now, at this point, he was camping for a little bit there, and I'm not sure why. If there's no reason to take cover, I couldn't, I couldn't necessarily see one. It's okay to drop down, take a quick scan, but if there's nothing there, keep moving. Definitely keep moving. Because that could have put some space between him and those two guys, at least he could have only got shot with a shot. That was just unlucky. Unlucky. Now this is a holy shit moment. He just spawned. Look what's behind him. The fucking tank. The tank parade's coming and you're a part of it, buddy. <laughs> so, what does he do? <laughs> he's fucking stuck in front of the tank. He just spawned. He just got spawn killed. To boot. And now he's got a fucking tank looking to own his ass. So <laughs> he's booking it. 360. I think he was teasing it a little bit there. That's actually kind of funny. He got away alive. But holy shit, that's definitely a holy shit moment of the match. I have no doubt. No, let's, unfortunately, someone beat him too. One thing to know. Take a look before you get there to see if that weapon is, is there. If it's not there, that means someone else has got it. So, gotta be aware. If the special weapon is, isn't there, someone's got it. And chances are they might be waiting for you to go get it. for more victims. Now, there's two people outside, and you can see that. It looks like, at this point, the show, this part is done. So we're going to pause this, and you can uh, check out the rest in the other half.